Welcome to Darangal Primary School's AMU News for Term 1, Week 8, 2022. I'm Lisa Wilson and I'm the Principal of Darangal Primary School. I hope you're well and able to stay away from this COVID virus. Acknowledgement of Country Darangal Primary School operates on Yorta Yorta Country. We acknowledge the Yorta Yorta people as the traditional custodians of the Darangal region and pay our respects to all Indigenous Elders, past and present. We are committed to a positive future for the Aboriginal community. Updates from Mrs W. This is just a reminder that face masks are still required to be worn in primary schools by all students in Year 3 to Year 6. It is the parents' responsibility to provide masks for their students. As well as that, all adults and people over the age of eight who step into the school buildings are required to wear a mask. 4th of April is our annual school athletic sports with the other small schools from around our local district. On this day, the parents transport their own students into McEwen Reserve in Shepparton and are also responsible for picking up their students afterwards. Durangal Primary School once again this year is in charge of the long jump pit and we really, really need parent and community support. Jenny and I cannot run the long jump pits by ourselves. We need more assistance. If you are available, can you please contact me at school and let me know what times you'll be available. The sports start at half past nine in the morning and are generally finished by two o'clock in the afternoon. Brekkie Club. Through Food Bank Victoria, we're able to access food for both Brekkie Club and lunches for the students. As well as that, we're also able to get holiday packs, which I have organised. There's one per family available. I've also been able to organise a couple of spare holiday packs. So if there's someone in the community who's doing it fairly tough and would like to access a food pack from the school, please let me know. It can be completely anonymous that we can get it to you. Food packs have wheat bix, milk, some fruit and there's also some soup and bits and pieces. It's said to be enough for one student for two weeks worth of breakfast, although I now know they're adding some lunch type food to them as well. School tours. This year we will be running school tours for prospective parents, whether they be prep students for 2023 or other families who may be interested in having their students enrolled at Durango. The dates for our Tours will be the 3rd, the 4th and the 5th of May. Due to COVID restrictions, we actually need people to book in for those tours. Further information and the flyers will be in this newsletter and also will be on our Facebook page. So please look out for those. May the 4th be with you. Our second free mini COVID vaccination clinic will be held on Wednesday, the 4th of May from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the school. Bookings and walk-ins are welcome and the clinic is open to everyone. You don't have to be connected with the school. To make a booking and to find out further information, please ring myself. The phone number is 0418 383 064. Current student learnings. Writing. Spelling and word work. What's been happening around the school?
upcoming events. School Brekkie Club program is run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday mornings from 8.30 to 8.50. Brekkie program is available for all students at the school, no matter whether they've already had Brekkie at home or not. Don't forget to bring your library books with you for our next library session. This year's athletic sports will be on April the 4th. Once again this year we are going to need parents and community members to assist us in running our designated sport. School council meetings. A reminder of when the next date will be. Meetings start at 6.30 and will be either on site or via a calendar invite for WebEx. Community notices. We are quite happy to advertise different community events. However, we do need to have explicit permission to be able to advertise it for you. And if you'd like a photo or a flyer added it needs to be in a picture format place so that we can drop it into our video.